All right. Back to the code. Let's see what's happened. So we got some messages. Uh, three messages, but no dispatches. Still, for some reason. Uh, it's not good. Uh, so let's. Oops. Let's put a breakpoint here on unsubscribe. Let's put a breakpoint on our message dispatch here. Okay, and now let's refresh. Um, all right. So where 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 are we? Uh, there we go. Okay, so this is where we're trying to unsubscribe. So we have two subscriptions here. Uh, that's kind of odd. How do we get here? Subscribing to tasks web socket, unsubscribing from task status, subscribing to task status. This seems odd. Okay, so if I step over this, then this subscriptions will have just the one, an ID one, looks good. on a message to come back. Can we see what's going on here? Do we just have one thing that's processing? Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> The task list could be a little bit better. Okay, there we go. So I started to detect silences and we got a, we because there was only one thing being processed, there's room for, there's two task workers. So there's two things that can be processed simultaneously. So there's an empty slot. So it immediately started processing. Um, and then we got here. So then this, that subscriptions, I'm gonna be able to call the callback. There we go. Which is that dispatch reducer action, right? So, can we step into dispatch reducer action? Okay. We got some fun stuff here. Okay, there's the action. Step over. We got some some interesting things. Mark update and dev tools is interesting. Uh, maybe I'll just run. Hey, look, we have a number. We have a number. <laughs> so why did it not work? Before. So here's the message, right? If I if I click this here, the number goes away, right? If I start silence detection again, it'll be queued. So we won't necessarily get another message until the previous task finishes. Fortunately, it doesn't take forever to uh, do the silence detection. It does take a minute or two. So what should happen is that we'll see um, 
something very much like this, right? Where we see message from server and then the reducer gets triggered. And uh, then the number one appears here. What I had seen before going through, um, uh, stepping through things in the debugger was that we saw the message, but we didn't see the reducer and the number didn't go up. So I'm not sure why the behavior is different. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Hmm. And I guess maybe we can, as long as I don't, let's, uh, let's step through working on this notifications component, I think. So I think there's some information that we want to know, right? So, um, if uh, notification we don't have a not in unfortunately uh, return working on getting my fingers to know where the <laughs> where the um, uh, the R key is versus S. figure out what I mean when I say this. Nope. All right. Ooh, ooh. Hey, look, we got, we got, uh, a mess we got two messages from the server. We got two reducer calls and we got two. It's a success. All right, cool. Um, so material UI, I have many tabs. <laughs> about material UI. Uh, it's it's an alert, right? That's the that's the component that I'm thinking of. What is alert versus alert title? Can we? Okay, component demo page. Alert. Now we don't need alert title. Okay, cool. So. Interesting, interesting. So are we gonna... Uh, let, let's see what Copilot does here. If it's denied... Um, granted. I mean, this, this does something. This doesn't really do what I want to do but it, it, it is something that we can then include in the UI and see stuff happening. And I think that's valuable in and of itself. Um, so, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna do notification. I export call notifications. And we're going to import that 
from dot slash. And what's it complaining about? Oh yeah. It's at any. That's fine. I mean, it's, it's not good, but... It's not going to keep it from working, from, from building. Alright, so if I click the drawer, if I, if I click the button to open the drawer, we get on to here, click here to enable desktop notifications is what we see. All right, that doesn't do anything right now. Um, so if we... I'm not really convinced. Is there... Warning info success? Okay. There's not an on click, is there? I mean, there could be. Yeah, here you go. Now it's clickable. There. Allow localhost 8080 to send notifications. Allow. Desktop notifications are enabled. Um, this doesn't actually like make notifications appear. That just is the the cycle for uh, requesting. Um, now what do we want to do? Oh, that's interesting, right? So I had the drawer open when there was a task change. So you see, there's a one there. Well, so I've not I've not integrated the the contents of the task drawer with this this new stuff. There we go. Um, so that it's it's a little bit out of sync still, but that that's fine. Um, so what do I want to do next? What do I want to do next? Um, is there, let's, let's, let's take a step back. Maybe there's something already in React Admin about uh, um, like notifications. Use notify. Yeah, so React Admin does have its like toast notifications here, um, but it doesn't integrate with like the like browser desktop notification stuff uh, as far as I know but let's just double check that uh, yeah yeah okay so no um, the notification component for instance change notification duration uh-huh so you can pass a component to the notification prop on admin so I think what react admin is probably going to do is it's going to clone this component so that's not so helpful for what I'm thinking. Um, we might have to do something similar to what I did with the, the WebSocket, where there's like a singleton class. Um, or, Right. 
So what I can't do, at least I don't think I can do, is just have some code in this component that's responsible for pushing notifications uh, to, you know, calling new notification. Like that. Uh, in here, because this component may not be uh, may not may, may not be uh, in existence since it's embedded inside of the. Well, hmm, there's a thought. Hmm. Like we have a lot of stuff hooked into the, well, a couple of things hooked into the button here because this this, this button will always be visible in the UI. Um, I wonder if I can hook that to the data provider again. But who's calling it? Right? How is how are we taking the WebSocket message and turning it into a notification? Um, and where does that live? So we have all of these components. So we have our index.tsx. And this contains the button, and this contains the menu um, and the task drawer list. In some ways, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. So in button, we have this task status subscription that allows us to see the count and a mark viewed. Um, maybe we make another hook. say use task status notification hook I don't know um, right effectively what we want let's say let, let's let's do this so we do like a uh, use effect Uh, and we'll not worry about doing anything quite yet. Um, so let's say if if uh, if um, is available and. Is is uh, granted? Actually, what is the the verbiage? Uh, yeah, granted. Good. Then show notification when task status changes. Uh, so let's see if Copilot. What is Copilot going to do? All right. So if if window notification and notification of permission is granted, then <laughs> Okay, well that that's nonsense, but um, yeah, so we could do something where we do like um, I 
currently we call to dispatch. Do I want to extract this out and the data provider? Maybe. I don't know exactly what this is going to like, look like yet. I'm just going to pull this out. I mean, we're using a hook. So I guess that, what is, what is the definition of a hook? Um, okay. And then dispatch is the thing that has to be passed in. Yeah, uh-huh. Start with the uppercase letter. I'm gonna start with the word use. So use, Um, task, <laughs> task status subscription. Um, interesting. Then I wonder if maybe what I should be doing is like taking this and moving this up to the component. Like, like redefine what ta use task status subscription is to be this. And um, this is going to be a function that takes um, oh, it's fun. We call it an action, huh? Um, yep, there you go. And then this code is extracted. Uh, yeah, we do depend on dispatch. And this all goes away. And then this stuff isn't even here. So now I've broken button.tsx. So what we do instead is I move this code here. And then I say... I pass dispatch to that. And then there's not a mark computer anymore. Instead, I dispatch a reset event that I know about because I'm I'm defining what this, this all is here. And then we fix all the imports. Um, task status. Did I, did I have that defined in here and I removed it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then here, define that interface. And then action is what we define here. Um, except actually it's going to be that cool and then I redefine that type here does that make you happy uh, there we go and then there and then um, we don't we're not dependent on mark view anymore we're dependent on dispatch Yep. And then this is test status .count. All right. So we've kind of lifted up the, the, um, the reducer state handling stuff to this component, because this is the component that cares about that. I'm going to remove that console log now. Um, and then 
that means that this use tasks status subscription, which is a very awkward name, um, is, is much simpler. It's just simply responsible for um, hooking up to the data provider and handling subscribing and unsubscribing and calling the function that's passed to it, right? So then um, we'll figure out what that function is probably by doing something, doing something. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, I think a lot of this is gonna go away. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, use this. And then, yeah, exactly that, except we'll have, uh, a guard here. We're only going to bother doing this if window not dot notification exists uh, and if we have permission to do it. And then I import this and uh, let's see. If task dot event task status change checks out do that and then um, task uh, task that test that ID status is now task dot uh, new status oh it's unknown what do you mean didn't it just tell me oh yeah it it's unknown <laughs> sure 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 um, Look, just whatever it is. Uh, optional can return undefined by design, uh, or yeah. Nah. Okay. Uh, const enter task task dot task. What is the, what are, what are the, what task event? Oh, that's the, yeah. Task that task. There, just, just believe me, just believe me. Uh, and then we don't need this use effect anymore, right? Cool, and then it's complaining that we're importing a thing that we're not using. All right. So... Let's refresh. So I've already given it permission to uh, give me desktop notifications. How are we doing on uh, on things? Yeah, no notifications are enabled. Uh, thing is complete. I don't think we have any queued up things, so I should be able to just like click this. We get a message. Um. And we got a thing, but I didn't get a notification. Nope. Notifications are allowed. Okay. Let's, let's look at the debugger. Okay, so an index.tsx. So like we should get here when there's a notification. So if we queue that up, there we go, breakpoint. So if window notification, it is. Notification at permission is granted. Checks out, step over that. Is task that event, task status change. Yes. Okay, and 
What is inner task? Inner task is the inner task, which is an ID. And then we say, hey, new notification. Um, Did we need to do something else with the notification? Maybe I should have read more of the uh, uh, MDN docs. Like, that should have launched a... a like we should have gotten a, a pop-up or something. What's up with that? Is there like a warning that I'm not seeing in the console? Um, what's up with that? MDN notification. Hey! Reps underscore EXE just follow. Reps EXE, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. You're having a, a good Sunday. Assuming it is Sunday wherever you are, it's so hard to uh, even think about. Um, it's fun when occasionally, it's been a while, some people from like New Zealand and just the, like on the other side of the international date line, and it's, it's always confusing uh, how that works. But uh, time zones are confusing. Anyway, um, so, is it not enough just to construct the notification? Let's look at the examples. Uh, Am, thanks, you? From Ireland, so yes, Sunday. Yeah. Well, hello. I'm doing well. I am uh, got through my morning coffee and uh, probably will be lunchtime soon. It's, uh, it's just a little bit after 11 uh, a.m., uh, here I'm uh, on the the west coast of the of the U.S. Um, okay, so oh, there we go. Examples. Um, Okay, so what was the warning? In the above example, we spawn notifications in response to a user gesture. Um, I mean, we are requesting permission. Obviously, it doesn't make sense for, like, the li literal reading of this doesn't make any sense. Obviously, the point of having a notification is the user doesn't know something has happened. We want to let them know because they've specifically uh, granted us permission to do so, which I did, and which we know because this says that that flow happened. So why does... Okay, there's a show event on the notification. Using the notifications API. Hey, look. Um, send notifications display outside the page at the system level. Yep, this is this is what I'm after. Um, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if the user is doing something else within another application. Yeah, like Slack. Yes. Requesting permission. Uh, common requirement. Can to implement strategies to mitigate this problem. You should only request consent to display notifications response to use gesture, which is what I did. Um, and then, cannot request notifications unless the site is secure. Uh huh. Uh, but of course, I've already I've gotten the permission already. So the question is, what am I doing wrong in terms of showing the notification? now that the permissions are enabled creating a notification use the notification constructor 
This expects a title display with the notification some options to enhance the notification, such as the icon or text body. Um, sure. does nothing so the question is why is this not working like hold on. if I do new notification test does nothing <laughs> We get an object. Um, so what do we? Hold on. Let's do. Let's t equals. We have a t. We have all sorts of things. More stuff that happened. No notification now. Um, on error. Send notifications allowed. Warnings, requests, XHR CSS. Nah, definitely not CSS. Um, so. Maybe we do need a body. For some reason. Does nothing. Can you pass uh, on error? To this nope still null oh uh, oh no I just expanded it okay unclick on show icon laying require interaction hmm And here's an example where it's just the title. Okay. Um, maybe. Let's, let's try. Hold on. Let's try Chrome. Very red. Alright, so uh, let's open DevTools here. Maybe we'll get. Maybe there's a problem and we'll get a different. We'll get an, like, an actual error about it. Cool. Uh, so we start the thing. Um, so there should have been a notification. There was not. Five issues. Uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Well. It's annoying. So let me double check. So in our notification component, I am calling notification request permission. Hey! You survived just followed. Hey, thanks for the follow, uh, Yusufi. If that's, uh, it's okay. Hopefully the, the, the text-to-speech, uh, didn't mangle that too bad, but, uh, welcome in. Hope your Sunday has been going good. Um... Send the promise resolution to handle past it then. We show our heads button depending on yada yada yada. Um I just okay, so let's try this. Um Notifications API Um Localhost not working? Yeah, exactly. Uh huh. I mean, we don't, we have permission. Like, we're already checking all of this, right? Um, so, send notification. is a function that constructs a notification and then yeah cool blah 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 uh-huh Look at more things from Stack Overflow. Hmm. Um, wait, did I? Maybe this is maybe this is my fault. <laughs> Hold on. This actually, um, did I turn off? Um, browser notifications. But that would have, hmm, I think that would have been just specifically for Firefox. It still should have worked in Chrome. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, well, Chrome again, let's see if we can figure out, figure out what's going on here. Like I would have would have expected, maybe a warning. Uh, if there was something wrong with uh, trying to get notifications. Ah, there we go. 
Uh, it's a little janky. Click here to enable it. Oh, right, right, right. I didn't do this in this browser. That's why the other thing didn't work. There we go. Allow. Cool. All right. So now if I start silence detection, we did get a message. If I start it again. Wait, why? Queued and processing. Okay. Why is opening the drawer unsubscribing and subscribing? It, it doesn't matter. It's not actually like disconnecting and reconnecting or anything like that. That's the, the whole point of all the, 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 the changes since the last coding stream have been to address that. Um, so the question is going to be when the task completes, right? Because we have this processing task here and it should be pretty soon here in like a minute or so. Um, are we going to get a notification? And yeah, site settings, see notifications are turned on. So it should work, right? You would think so. Still processing. Desktop and uh, notifications are enabled. Uh, what are we going to do if this doesn't? Oh, hey, look, there's messages, but no notifications and no warning saying, hey, notifications, uh, something, something, no issues listed here. Um, like, if I just do like new notification. Hello. Nothing happens. It's a mystery. Uh, let me, I'm gonna move Chrome over to the side so I can go into the settings and see if maybe there's some notification setting. Uh, expand all requests. Customize. Yeah, I have. Yeah, look close to eighty eighty. Uh, let's see. Permissions. It's not alphabetical. Notifications allow. Does nothing. That's interesting. Huh. What's up with that? <laughs> like, uh, hold on. If I, if I just go to like Twitch TV. Enable here, right? Yes. 
Maybe not from the console? I don't see why that wouldn't work. Hmm. It's, uh... Something I'm gonna have to figure out, I think. But I think it's uh, just about time for me to get some lunch. So, um... I suspect by next week I'll have maybe figured out. I feel like I turned something off, maybe in Windows settings, and that's that's impacting this. I don't know. Um, but I think next stream it'll probably be time to move on to things besides tasks. <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome, Brainless. Um, so we, we have, yeah, yeah, you as well. Um, we have other things in the backlog. Um, I did uh, a month or so ago, or maybe two months ago at this point, I actually make the, the planning for this project also public. So that's like linked from glowing telegram. If you just go to the, the projects tab. Uh, so it's all, it's all out there. Uh, all the things I wish I had time to do. <laughs> Um, but, uh, let's, let's go do a raid. 